guys. So I wanted to take a moment to address a couple comments I got this past weekend. Um, and I shared them on my Facebook page, which probably wasn't the smartest idea on my part. <laughs> um, but I was really upset about them and you can't change the past. You can only change the future. So I just wanted to come out on here and apologize for even sharing them um, and even discussing them on my Facebook page. Um, they both had to do with the care of my boys. And I take that very personally. And my husband said, I'm too sensitive. <laughs> and he's, I am, I'm a sensitive person. And so doing YouTube and sharing uh, my boys and some of my life probably isn't the smartest thing for me to do since I am. <laughs> but I love sharing with you guys and I've made so many great friends and gotten to know so many people from all over um, because of our love of uh, our animals. And I just want to say that we all have different ideas of what we think is best for our dogs, cats, any kind of animal you have. Their care, uh, what we feed them, um, the treats we give them, the toys we buy them. We all have our, our what we feel is best for our animals. Um, and I just wanted to say that when you make a comment or if on my Facebook or on my YouTube channel, maybe say it in a way like um, one of the comments was just poison in all capital letters under a photo on my Facebook page of my boys waiting to get their heart guard. They just put poison. Instead of putting poison, maybe put, um, hey, I've heard this isn't the greatest for dogs, or I feel it isn't the greatest for dogs. Here's what I do for my dog um, instead of using heart guard. Um, maybe just say it in a way that isn't just so harsh, <laughs> you know, because I've decided now that, well, I did decide that I, I thought I'm not going to talk about my boy's health anymore on uh, social media. And so many people were upset by that because they said they learn, um, from what I go through with my boys, um, they learn from that from me, from what I'm going through with having five schnauzers. So I guess instead of just saying, uh, like this past weekend, uh, I noticed Magnum's dew claw was kind of hanging. He wasn't bleeding. Um, <coughs> he wasn't in extreme pain because he was still walking around. He was still running through the yard. Just every now and then I think it kind of caught and pulled and it bothered him. So I knew this was something that could wait to the morning because I noticed at about 5 30, 6 o'clock at night and my vet was already closed. So I knew this was something that could wait till the morning um, when they opened back up again at 9 a.m. And someone was um, offended by that, that I did not rush him to the emergency vet because she felt I wanted to save a couple extra bucks. <laughs> it would have been more than a couple extra bucks if I took him to the after hours uh, clinic. And it was basically like a hangnail situation. It wasn't, you know, um, a dire emergency. She thought I was going to let him be in pain for 24 hours um, before I took him to the vet, which it wasn't. And he wasn't in pain. He was annoyed by it. Um, and when I took him to the vet, which we sat there for an hour and a half, I couldn't believe it's the longest I ever waited at our vet. But... To be fair, it was a Saturday and they are very busy on Saturdays and they're only open till noon. Um, they took him in and they told us, well, I need to, we need to look at it. Um, we may have to sedate him. We may have to cut it back and cauterize it. He'd be bandaged up for a little bit, you know, give him pain meds, so on and so forth. Well, they took him back to look at it and they clipped it right off. No problems and no pain meds, nothing. Um, so she thinks it had been um, broken a lip for a little while um, and that maybe just now it was um, bothering him. So 
so I just want, I guess I, to bring up that story is because I just want to say that just like with our children, with dogs, I'm home, I'm home most of the time with my dogs. So my dogs and I have a really close bond. It's almost like with my children. I know when they're sick. I know when they're in pain and hurting. Um, just like with my, when my children were little. Um, when they couldn't talk. I, I knew, I know when something's wrong. Just like when Max had his uh, spinal stroke. I'm just going to call it a spinal stroke because there's a big name to it and I can't ever remember it <laughs> or pronounce it. Um, just like when he had his spinal stroke, when I was standing at the kitchen counter at our other house and I had let the, bo well, I let the boys in and they had been playing out in the backyard. They continued the playing inside. And I was standing at the kitchen counter and all of a sudden it just became this eerie silence after they were playing. And I thought, what's going on? So I think I was doing dishes. So I put the dishes down and I went to go see what was going on because, it, you know, like with kids, when it becomes silent, what's going on? <laughs> um, I walked out and Miggy was looking at me weird and I looked at Max and he... I don't want to start crying, guys. <laughs> he just, he gave me this look of, Mom, something's wrong with me. Sorry, I'm going to start crying every time I talk about Max. <laughs> oh, let me compose myself. <sighs> he just had this look of, Mom, something's wrong. And I knew, just the way he looked at me, something wasn't right. And I called my husband, I said, Tom, something's wrong with Max's leg. Oh, I don't know why I can never talk about this. I mean, he's fine now. <laughs> why do I get so upset? Oh, that weekend was just an emotional roller coaster. And I think that's why I cry. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, sorry. I just get that ugly cry going on, and I, I don't want you guys to see that ugly cry. And I'm sure my face is all red now, too, because whenever I cry, my face gets all red. <laughs> oh, I knew I shouldn't have done my makeup. I thought, oh, I'm going to make myself look nice for my viewers. I usually never have any eye makeup on. Um, not always looking my best. But anyways, I, um... I knew something was wrong and I remember telling Tom something's wrong with his leg he can't move it and um, my husband was like oh he probably just sprained his you know sprained his foot or uh, maybe he caught his toenail on something um, he, he was basically trying to calm me down because I, I just I was in a panic and I said no Tom it, it, it's something else something is, is seriously wrong and I remember I said, I'm going to the vet. I hung up the phone and I put the other boys in their crates and I grabbed Max and I was out the door. I don't even remember if I looked decent, <laughs> what I was wearing. I just, I ran to the vet. And I guess that's why the one lady's comment really bothered me. Because I thought, I thought I express, I thought that my video showed how much I love these boys and how I would do anything for them. Um, and I guess it just, it just really bothered me. And I was like, I'm not sharing our health anymore. I'm not talking about my preventative treatment anymore. I'm not talking about anything to do with their health. I, I was just so upset. And so many people in the comments said, please, please don't, please don't do that. Please don't change Sherry because it's helped us so much. And you're right. I can't, I can't let one person's comment who doesn't know me affect what I do. So I will share what goes on with their health. And I'm going to try to get tougher skin. I'm going to try to get tougher skin. And I know a lot of you say, 
just let it roll off your back. Um, you know, just ignore them. Um, but you guys don't know how many negative comments I get. And it is unreal. And I know as I get more subscribers, I'm probably going to get that. And I just, I have to know that. And I have to get thicker skin. Um, I only share them every now and then, which I'm not going to anymore. Because I don't want to give any recognition to nasty people. So after this video, there will be no more speaking of rude comments. I will never bring it up again. Um, but I just wanted to explain to some of you on my Facebook page why um, those comments were bothering me so much. And like I said, they'll never be spoken of again. Because I feel like by me doing that, after I thought about it, after me doing that, sorry, I'm watching my boys run around outside. I put them outside so they weren't making noise while I talk and distract me, which they're still distracting me. Because <laughs> I see them chasing a, a squirrel going across the telephone uh, wire out there. <laughs> they're just so funny. Um, see, they've distracted me and now I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh, I, I decided I, I, I'm not going to give those people power over me. And by me addressing them, that's exactly what I did. So, anyways, I'm going to stop blubbering. <laughs> and I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoy your day. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.